Hello everyone, I want to show you a couple things real quick before my battery dies. Um, I bought a Christmas cactus. Actually, it was bought for me for Christmas. And the flower actually bloomed a couple days ago and I wanted to show it and uh, keep a record of it on video. When they actually, once I lose all the flowers, but this is how it looks in person. I mean, this is as close as it gets. It's very uh, beautiful, as you can see. And it's got a lot of little buds around here. They're gonna flower in a week or two. And I have another one here that's getting ready to open up in a couple days, or probably around five, uh, a whole week. This one, uh, from my little bud, it took probably about two, three weeks before I actually got this big and opened up. And in person, you know, these, these are just gorgeous so really I recommend you get one if you'd like to and these down here are my black berry jam trees they're growing really really slow but they look healthy enough and one more thing is I want to show you my lettuce that I've been growing um, this winter has been like a really really tropical winter the sun is blazing hot every day. It was only about a period of two weeks where it was, where it got down to 40, uh, 45 actually, for a couple hours. And but the sun is still killing. You know, it's it's beating down on all the plants. So right now my lettuces are struggling to just and to not wilt. And right here is damage from just too much sun, I believe. Because it, 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 it's when it gets too hot, it just stuck to the side of the container. Because it, they become soft in the heat, they just can't handle it. Um, also, another, another thing is, they would have been a lot bigger by now if if it wasn't for the fact that I have to keep them uh, in the shade for most of the day because it's just so hot. And uh, I'm pretty much I'm gonna try growing uh, other things that are more tolerable of heat. In my hydroponics because this year is just terrible for for lettuce it's just the window for growing lettuce is very 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 short there almost was no window it's just it's it's terrible also I, I'm probably will do some research and try to get the the most heat tolerant lettuce that I can and I'm also gonna try doing the tomatoes uh, cracky cracky style and I'm possibly gonna try to grow one indoors with a bubbler and everything and my lettuces that I had here I let them die because I didn't I didn't feel like I needed to water them anymore I just drew them as an experiment and here's my my perlite lettuces are still in there they're just chilling out I'm gonna let it dry out and just die I guess and also one more thing it's my pineapple It's been uh, flowering here for a while. It's very beautiful. I mean, it, it was more beautiful earlier because the bottom's starting to dry out. Um, I think I need to water it. And we'll see what happens. Maybe I need another pineapple, who knows. I think I had a friend growing with, with, with just one singular pineapple, but either way, I'm gonna stick around. Hopefully you stick around as well. Let's see what happens. Cool. One more thing is my papaya flowers are opening up. They um, hopefully I get some papayas from them because I had a couple of flowers before that opened up, and actually it was during the two two week cold period, and they just fell off. And I have to sign off because my battery has 30 seconds left. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.